What is up, Parmaniacs? Power Stasis here. We are back in the world of FTB Horizons. I always forget which game I'm playing. I don't know why. Um, I wanted to show you guys a few things uh, that have happened over the night. Uh, I try to put most of the stuff on the camera, but every once in a while, um, stuff happens when I'm not even online, or um, you know, it's just menial tasks or something along those lines. Uh, and I just, I don't record everything. I record most things. Uh, I'm also leaving the little, uh, if you'll notice in the top center of your screen, I'm leaving that on because it'll tell you what I'm looking at. Some folks have been requesting that. This way you can tell what's going on and what I'm looking at. Uh, we changed the farm down here. Previously it was berries. I've turned all the berries into fruit salad. Pretty easy to make fruit salad. You just get a chopping block and a mixing bowl, and then you put uh, two fruits on each side, and it actually, for some reason, chopping the berries makes the berries better for your food. I, It makes no sense to me. Either way, uh, we've got a canola farm going down here. Uh, I'm actually going to have to probably make four or five of these, depending. So we're going to end up having to move our little area here because this just isn't going to be enough, and I, I'm just going to feel really bad if I tear this whole forest up. Uh, you're also going to notice um, we did have some horses tied up here yesterday. Um, Oppie and Posa Wolfge decided to make a, I guess this is a grain silo, I think. I think. I'm not really a, I'm not really a farmer, so I'm not sure, but I believe this is a, a grain silo uh, where there's some hay stored. And then in here we have the barn with horses. Uh, we got some hay over here. I think they did a really, really good job on this. The only thing I'm bummed about is that. That's just hateful. That is just fucking hateful. So, I'm gonna probably have to lock uh, Oppie in the dungeon until she begs for forgiveness. So, we'll see how that goes. Something tells me I'm probably gonna be the one getting hurt on that one more than uh, she would. Uh, anyways, uh, we are gonna be looking for some farmland to set things up, but, uh, one of the things we need to do before we move power sources, uh, and I did want to show you guys where the new machine room is going to be. We're going to probably end up moving all that stuff soon as well. Still getting the base organized. Uh, I did get an enchanter ready uh, and a anvil over here for repairs. Uh, unfortunately, my old pickaxe broke on me. So we now have a new pickaxe. Yay, yay. Um, right over here, this is where the machines are going to be, right here. And I'm not sure where we're going to put uh, the rest of the stuff. We're still, we're still building, we're still, we're still coming up. Uh, I also wanted to show you guys how well the thing did basically overnight. Now keep in mind, this isn't 100% overnight because, oh and I, I ended up swapping over to this setup to regulate the little gear there because the gear was grinding a lot. Now, keep in mind, um, these right here, like I've got 143 micro Teslas on this, that is still a fuel source, and so while it will burn for a while, it won't burn forever. So, damn, that's loud. So, uh, currently, we are charging another shaft. Shaft! Sorry, shut your mouth. Can't help it. Um, we've got that running. Uh, that's going to take, I mean, it, it takes a long time for this to charge up. I wish there was actually a way to, to speed that process up. More importantly, I'd really like to find a way to automate this process. That way I could have multiple shafts going and, and recharging them. But I, I've decided as cool as these are, I would rather pay fuel and maintain fuel production than sit here for an hour every day and wait for this thing to charge up. It's just, it's just fucking annoying. Not only that, but just to run this thing right here, we would need almost a hundred engines. I think it is. It's it's a ridiculous amount of engines. Um, you can also see I've been working through some different ores here. I wanted to show you guys how well the twenty, uh, I think it was twenty three iron ore turned out. We got almost two stacks from that one, from that one setup, which is actually pretty good because we're fixing to burn all of that. Now, what we're going to be doing soon is we're going to be moving to, um, oh, here, I guess I just need to do engine. R really? There we go. We're going to be moving uh, to gas engines. Now, there's two types. There's the gasoline, which is also called ethanol engine, or there's the performance engine. Now, the performance engine is this little monster here. It's not too hard to build. We've got pretty much all of the easy components, and that's one thing I have to give to Rotary Craft is while a lot of the stuff 
is expensive from the standpoint that it requires just a lot of iron. It's not complex. Like it's not like you're making you know hybrid solar panels from Greg Tech. You know, so it, it's simply more about just having the sheer amount of, of, of stuff that you need. So we're going to be moving to this engine. Now, the problem with this engine, performance engine, it's a souped up version of the gasoline engine. Uh, the nice thing about this is it's going to produce a lot more power than the one we're using. We're using this one right here. You can see this one makes a total of 131 kilowatts. Uh, this one right here makes 262 kilowatts. So for each one of these engines that we're going to make, it's going to produce double what these engines make. Not only that, it doesn't use shafts, which, shaft! I mean, I won't be able to say that anymore, but I'm willing to give up my shaft chanting to, uh, to get something that, you know, is a little bit easier to maintain. Now, you notice that we have the canola farm outside. That's what we're going to need to make ethanol crystals. Well, it's part of the process that we need to make. Um, that's not so bad. The other issue is this engine requires a secondary component. And you have the option, redstone, gunpowder, or blaze powder. Now, obviously, blaze powder is the most uh, most effective. Gunpowder, or redstone, the least effective. Well, redstone and gunpowder are going to be the two hardest things to get, whereas some of the other ones are going to be easy. Now, we could always go with a few of these. These things right here will just produce a ridiculous ridiculous amount of juice i mean look at this thing this is two megawatts and i, I think this one what does what this one put out 67 man. damn that's hateful um <laughs> oh my god <laughs> the most powerful engine of all the gas turbine is a monster outputting power capable comparable to that of an engine of a commercial jet airliner and with the sound to match oh my god <laughs> Unless you want to know what it feels like to go through a blender, stay away from the front of this one while in operation. Neither you nor your engine will fare well. So apparently this will actually suck things in. Um, that's kind of cool. Now, I don't know what these two things require in fuel. Um, it may turn out that they're not so bad after all. Unfortunately, it doesn't really... Yeah, they, they need jet fuel. And I'm pretty sure this one's going to need jet fuel as well. Risks, ingestion, possible violent failure if damaged. Oh my god, that sounds awesome. I, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to throw Big D into an engine. <laughs> you know it's going to happen. Whether or not I want it to or not, it's going to happen. Maybe JJ. Maybe I can sucker JJ into one of the engines. Uh, and then this one right here just needs ethanol. So this one is probably the one that we're going to go with... Um, it's still, you know, a small amount of power compared to what we need, but I think it's I think it's worth the trouble. And then after that, we can easily transition into those. Now, with jet fuel, I know how to make I know how to make ethanol crystals. Uh, jet fuel, I I really I really don't know how to make jet fuel. Holy shit! All right, so jet fuel is going to be ethanol crystal easy, magma cream not so easy, netherrack dust easy, tar sand coal and blaze powder what the hell is tar sand oh my god yeah this is this is gonna be a nightmare so either way for this process for this engine and the next two engines we're gonna need blaze powders now blaze powders are tricky because on first glance most of the mobs that allow you to make soul shards are not or not soul shards but monster spawners are not here you know you don't have soul shards you don't have mfr uh, most of the go-to stuff won't let you make spawners. Well, there is an exception to that. So right here we have a bunch of, where are they? Here we go. We have a bunch of rotary craft spawners. And then we have the spawn controller. Now, the way the rotary craft spawners work, and let me pull that up so you guys can see, and I'll go ahead and detail that for you. Let me see if I can find the spawn controller first. We can talk about that. All right, so this right here, Basically, it's kind of like soul shards. It lets you kind of determine what the spawn rate's going to be and how it's going to work, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it requires a decent amount of power. Not a ridiculous amount, but a decent amount of power. And then, that wasn't the spawner, was it? No. Then the actual spawner is... Bitch, I know you're here. 
I know you're here. It's trolling me. There it is. Spawners, if you are lucky enough to dig through a dungeon, mineshaft, or stronghold with a boring machine or pyro driver, the spawner, rather than being completely destroyed, will drop as a usable item and will retain its mob type. So basically, I need to build a either a boring machine or a pile driver. Now, pile drivers dig down, boring machines dig straight across. Obviously, for this task, a boring machine is going to be significantly easier for our requirements. So, what all do we need to make the boring machine? Actually, I should probably make sure I've got all my uh, rotary craft crap on me before we get started. I think that's everything. Everything. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, beautiful. Wrong engine. There we go. Alright, so for this, obviously we need three steel ingots. We need three base plates, uh, so we're going to need some more of those. Let's go ahead and do... I'm just going to convert this whole stack to it. There we go, that's six. So that's going to give us, what, a six times nine is, what, 54, I think? Assuming my, uh, my English is right. What do you mean? Don't you mean math? Shut up. Shut up. Don't hurt my feelings. All right, uh, while we're waiting on that to cook, let's go ahead and make the panels. There we go. I think that's all the panels we need, right? Three and three. Yep. And then we need the drill, which is going to cost a few more. We need to grab one more batch. Thank you, sir. We'll do the drill. Drill's pretty easy. There we go. Drill done. Now we need the 2x gears. So we just need those real quick. Okay, got those plus the two shafts. Shaft? Sorry. Sorry. I think it's actually up above, right? Yeah, there we go. 2x rotary gears. And then we need the circuit board. Now, thankfully, I have an ender pearl. That almost sucked. That almost sucked. I got that uh, last night, and we need some gold. So let's come over here and grab some gold real quick and some redstone, I believe. So we'll grab redstone, gold. Come back over here. Right click. Whoops. And bam. There we go. We got two of them. Now that we've got all that, um, got these on top, got these on bottom, we got you in the middle, you on the left, and you on the right, and we have a boring machine. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And the boring machine, the way it works is whatever direction it's facing is what it's going to dig. So right here you can see the face is pointing that way, so that's where it's going to dig. If I want to dig that way, then uh, we just need to get the screwdriver, which I believe I've left over here. Where is the screwdriver? Damn it, Bobby, where's the screwdriver? Damn it, Bobby! Where is the screwdriver? There it is, okay. Whew. All right, we're gonna put all of our cool stuff back in here. Not gonna need, well, we might actually need the sickle because we are going into the nether, and it is possible that there might be some cool nethery stuff that we wanna, that we wish to forage. Uh, everything else I'm gonna leave here for the strict purposes of the fact that I may die I've, I've seen me do it. It's happened before. We're gonna go ahead and take our little chest here Now the one problem with this and this is the one thing that I don't know. I Don't know if I can pick up Okay, that's good Put you in here uh, The issue here and we'll flip that up. I don't know if I can pick this up without it losing its power and it's gonna suck if it's gonna lose its power I mean, it, it will absolutely blow. So I'm gonna see if I can read real quick and find out if it will keep its power. I don't know if it's gonna tell me or not. Uh, right here. Stores energy in a large spring due to the fact that it is output torque speed can be chosen at will. It can be used to storage capacity, store power and energy accumulate over a long time and then release it in one powerful burst. It does not say if it can be moved. And that really, really sucks. Oh wow, this is cool. I really, really like this. So I'm pretty sure that if I pick this up, it's gonna frag um, all the power in it. So what we're gonna do, uh, I'm not gonna need this much power, honestly, for what we're gonna be trying to do. So we're, well, I guess you can't really see the power. Let's run over here real quick. Let's loot our little thing. Do we put it over here? Uh, yes, we did. Mm. 
Alright, Sir Gowen says it keeps power. Alright, we got 2.6 gigajoules. Sir Gonan, are you sure, sir? Are you sure? Because I'm gonna be I'm gonna I'm gonna be rather pissed if it doesn't. One of my subs is telling me that it will it will keep the power. <sighs> I mean I guess we can try it. I mean the worst case scenario we lose the power. <laughs> It's only two gigajoules. All right, let's give it a shot. We'll find out if Sir Gonan is an asshole. Let's let's find out if Sir Gonan's an asshole. And I, I'm pretty sure I can't pick this up with a hammer, so we're just we're just gonna break it. Oh, two gigajoules. Oh god, two gigajoules. All right, here we go. Let's try it. Let's try it. And down. And beautiful. Oh, Pyro is a very happy person right now. All right, enough Brady dance. All right, here we go. Let's pick that monster up. Um, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. All right, we're taking all this with us. Uh, we're leaving this here. We do need our tunnel bore. <laughs> oh, my friends, we are going to have good time. Now, I have never done this before. Never done this before. So this is going to be very e interesting. Um, we've got two engines. We've got the shaft junction. And we've got the industrial coil. So let's let's head on up. Whee! All right, dropping down. Oh, God. I got, a, I got a really, really bad feeling about this. Going through. Going through. All right. So what we need to find is a Nether fortress. Now that one goes all the way down. You know what? Let's just set it up and see what happens. So let's go ahead. We got that here. We got this here. Uh, and I got my lever. Perfect. All right. So we're gonna set you down right here. There we go. Set you down right there. Uh, input and output, so I need to flip this around real quick. Flip it, flip it, flip it. There we go. All right, we're gonna put you there, and then this needs reset position, drops on power. And it's phasing for as long as you like. When the GUI, you can control the tunnel shape, and if the cobblestone and dirt spewing out of the machine bothers you, the stable the item drops. The harder the materials require, the more power and torque to dig. Huh. This is cool. This is cool. All right. So it needs 512 nanometers of torque, I believe it is. Of course, it doesn't tell me how much wattage it needs. I don't know. Oh god. Dude, this is cool. This is cool. All right, so let's I wonder where it's going to put the drops. Oh, hey buddy. How are you doing? Where did you come from? Okay, so it needs 512 down here of nanometers of torque. S uh, output speed, I don't know. And then 64 watts. I think you gave me more information here. Because I seem to remember it telling me. Oh, yeah, right here. Up to 32,000 watts. Okay, so where was my calculator? It was 512 nanometers and how many rads was it? 62.5 rads. That seems a little low, but maybe that's right. 62.5. So let's just make it 63 rads. That, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right at all. Let's find out. Is it enough? Oh yeah, that's apparently enough. Now what the hell is this shit? Why isn't it moving forward? Let's put you here.
Okay, that's not working. We have plenty of torque and plenty of power. Hmm. Is it digging up? Oh, it's digging up. Let's do 500 rats. See what that does. Does that give us more? Yeah, it's cooking now. Uh, let's do... Well, let's do 2024. How are we doing on power? Okay, it's mining a lot quicker now. Oh wow, dude, that is insane. Hmm. All right, let's do 4,048. See if that kicks us up any, because this thing seems slow. So people are just telling me it is a slow machine. So that's kind of a bummer. That's kind of a bummer. So we're going to put it back on 63. And I have a feeling it's going to just mine just fine at 63. Because it's still got plenty of power, plenty of torque. And we're doing just fine. So it is going to dig this whole thing out a few micro blocks at a time. Oh god, this is going to take forever. See... I was all excited because I thought this thing was going to be like wicked fast. I am very sad and disappointed by the lack of wicked fastness. Very satisfied indeed. Yeah, that's going to take forever. Absolutely forever. Okay, so what I think we're going to do is I'm going to look around and see if I can just find the damn thing. And then we're going to see if we can't, if we can find another portal, or not another portal, a uh, nether uh, fortress. Then we can just, we can kind of get going from there. Uh, that way we won't burn anymore. I mean, we're, we're burning very, very small amounts of fuel. As you can see, we've got 2.552 gigajoules. Uh, but it's just the fact that, you know, this is just dick and slow anyway. So we'll go ahead and stop that. And then we're going to go ahead and put you in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick you up. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and break you. And you. And you. What the hell is... Whoa! Oh, that's cool. So you can see it does work. It's just slow. It's just slow. Alright, so let's skip ahead. I'm going to see if I can't find us a nether... Um, what do you call it? A netherrack area. And we'll pick up there.